All right, let's bring in meteorologist Jeff Ranieri. And Jeff, uh, we have some nice horseback riding weather outside. Boy, chilly in the morning, but then the sun was just out today. Just a spectacular day. So if you're on a horse, on a bike, walking, car with the uh, windows down, sunroof opened up. We've got uh, some excellent weather continuing as we move through the next couple of days, which has been really nice after that wind storm we had on Sunday and Monday. But I know a lot of you are like me and you're thinking about, okay, rainfall. We need it. We need it desperately. And I was one of the first people to start reporting on this issue we're seeing, and it's with our developing La Nina right now that does have a tie into this dry pattern we're dealing with. So let's get a look at the weather maps and I can show you the setup here and with La Nina developing right now, we get the cooling of the Pacific waters. When that happens, we tend to see a strong ridge of high pressure develop. That's important because that moves the storm track well off to the north, keeping the best rain chances over towards Seattle. Now, during a La Nina phase, which we're currently in, we can get the storm track eventually lowering near the Bay Area, but we still have to see some monumental changes uh, over the next uh, four to eight weeks for that to happen. Again, dry the next seven days because of that high pressure and our tie in with La Nina. So no rain, but we do have some bright weather moving on in and some pretty comfortable skies as well. You can count on me to continue to update you on that La Nina as we head through the next couple of months. So for tomorrow morning, mostly sunny and we're starting off chilly 47 in the Tri Valley. South Bay also at 49 right here for the East Bay, San Francisco and the North Bay. More widespread 40s down to 47 here in the East Bay and 46 in the North Bay. Temperatures tomorrow don't adjust a whole lot. In fact, we're pretty temperate across the entire Bay Area. Not too many fluctuations. 80 here for downtown San Jose. We'll take you to the East Bay and more of those 80s for Walnut Creek, Concord, Livermore, Danville. Go closer to the Bay. We're in the 70s. Oakland at 76. And those 70s continue as we head right over to the peninsula. You can see my forecast here in Redwood City at 76. San Francisco, a mix of 60s and 70s. Have you at 73 in the Mission? And for the Ingleside, 67. And for the North Bay, a mix of 70s and 80s, 77 in Novato and 80 in Sonoma. My extended forecast, pretty simple in San Francisco. We keep with some 60s and then eventually more 70s as we roll into next week and across the inland valleys. Dry the next seven days, and we are looking at a mix of uh, some 70s and also some low and mid 80s. Now, Sunday, as the time changes, check this out. Our new sunrise will be 636, and that sunset one hour earlier at 510 at night. But here's the good news. In theory, we get an extra hour of sleep on Sunday, and I think after everything we've been through in 2020, an extra hour of sleep might do us all a little bit of good, right? Uh, multiple hours of sleep <laughs> would do us all really, really good. But we'll take that one. Yes. Yeah, it means my toddler's getting up uh, an hour earlier, yes. which uh, <laughs> is hard for me. But hey, oh. we could all use another extra hour of relaxing. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff.